Hello again YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and YouTubers. John 11 Hot here. It's about 5.33 in the afternoon. Um, but basically, yeah, I checked a lot of the stores. Um, I went to, you know, I gotta bring the, uh, what you call it, look at that. Uh, I gotta bring the, what you call it, because it was uh, like a bus in the back of me making a lot of noise and there's like a lot of people chatting and stuff like that so you basically their voices are a lot louder to, over mine so now I'm just like running across the street to get to the middle of the island right here um well basically the one you know, like I got myself a ginger ale and an ice cream cone and uh and juju fish like the Swedish fish so I basically bought that, and in Barnes & Noble at Union Square, I bought like Mothra vs. Godzilla for DVD. Awesome movie. I got that again. Now I'm just like trying to get across so I can go to the next few stores to make my way to South Shore Seaport, and hopefully it's open, because if not, then I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner. Because I'm going to have to eat out somewhere. Well, I basically did good so far. I you know, like, um, wanted to do a couple of stores to see if I could find some Godzilla movies and uh, a TV series uh, called Sabrina the Teenage Witch Season 3. They didn't have it in Barnes & Noble, but they did have Season 1, 2, 4, 5, and the final the final one. Um, yeah, I was a little disappointed in it. I was a little disappointed in that. Yeah, some person just smashed into like one of those little witch cords back there, like the cages, you know, the little cage thing that separates the sidewalk from the street, you know, like when, you know, never mind. But, you know, I'm still on my, you know, like I'm still walking around in Manhattan. This is uh, probably my third video, I, th I believe, yeah, my third. So I'm basically gonna go to a store and see if I can purchase a. Uh, um, something at least, or uh, yeah, you know, just to see if I'm interested in it or not. I probably might not, but I'm just gonna look around, and then I'm gonna head to the South Shore Seaport, and then probably from there I'm gonna probably have dinner. Um, it's like, whew, it's like a lot of people. You basically see back me. Tons of people. You know, tons of people back there walking, walking in that direction. Not that many coming from behind me. I mean, I did But, you know, I'm basically still walking. I um, went to Best Buy's on Broadway. So I'm on another block, not Broadway. And I'm heading towards uh, Chinatown. I mean, the push comes shove if I. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm stinging, starting to get a little hungry because I finished my juju fish. Like my. Uh, yeah, like uh, the Swedish fish. So I'm kind of getting hungry again because I, again, I didn't have breakfast. If you heard in one of my, one of my videos, I basically didn't have breakfast all day, and I didn't have lunch. Well, if you consider a soda and an ice cream and uh, and Swedish fish, well, it's not that filling, which is true, which I know. You know, like I just needed something to, to like eat for a bit you know, until I can find some place to. Eat and stuff like I'm, yeah, like I'm thinking of eating at the South Shore Seaport if it reopened yet. Probably didn't. I mean, a lot, of, you know, like a lot of the stores, I'm you know, like I, well, South Shore Seaport basically got hit hard because it's like the closest place uh, near water. So yeah, that place pretty much is wrecked, and I don't know if they're gonna ever reopen because uh, it was really bad. Yeah, you know, if you, have, you know, like if it were to come to Manhattan, yeah, I gotta check it out. Yeah, you know, I don't know if they're like, yeah, you know, if they're gonna reopen it. I mean, eventually they're gonna have to. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, the South Shore Seaport badly out of commission for a while, or yeah, you know, like no, no uh, stores around there. A lot of people are gonna end up going to Times Square more, or Union Square. I mean, let me tell you, I went to a couple places around. Like, uh, there's this one park that was like really awesome. They have like these rope works of art. 
that are in the park. One's red, one's blue. And if I believe they said there's a yellow one, but I didn't see one. I only saw the blue one and the red one. But, you know, like, it's pretty cool. It's like really great rope art. You know, like, it's like stacked together. Very, yeah, like, very, uh, very, you know, like, very good and everything. I would have basically showed pictures of that, but I didn't want to waste a lot of time taking pictures. I mean, I got like a few pictures, which is uh, when I was like on my way to Bujima uh, Call, when I was on my way to to um, to the you know, to, you know, to Manhattan here. Probably I'll post them in another video where I'll basically show the pictures I took when I was on the boat and some pictures that I took while I'm here in Manhattan. I didn't take that many. Very surprised and very disappointed with myself as well. I'll be riding on your motor scooter or motorbike or whatever. Um, but basically I'm trying to pay close attention to where I'm going to. I basically went to like a couple of video stores here in Manhattan. Um, yeah, like some of them... Now, I'm just gonna basically say this. Some of the stores here in Manhattan, if you go back to, um, per se, a video store that sells like, um, like, that sells like DVDs. Some of the stores are pretty kind of good, but they're not like 100% good. And the reason why I see that for is because, well, number one, um, oh, it was like so terrible when I went in there. Um, like all the DVDs weren't in proper order like it was like really jumbled up it kind of like agitated me a bit you know, like how badly agitated did it get me um i tried looking for the movies i wanted to look for that, that of course they didn't have so after looking and looking and looking i just said you know it's good this although they did have uh old dragon ball z movies like on three dvds so that was pretty cool. I think I hit traffic. Good. That was me cross. But yeah, you know, like I said, you know, like this one video store, this one video store had like a Dragon Ball Z set of movies, like the first one through I think seven, I think, or or nine, I don't know. But there was like three, you know, three. Uh, Three uh, cases with the Dragon Ball Z movies in it. I mean, when I was living at home and uh, at my brother-in-law's apartment, um, my future brother-in-law's apartment, um, I basically tried recording all the Dragon Ball Z movies that they had on on Nicktoons and stuff. Uh, pretty much didn't do so good because you know, like, I didn't catch them all at the same thing I got at a out of the witch card. But, you know, again, I'm still here in Manhattan, just walking towards uh, where I'm going. Probably the next place, you know, the next place I'm going is a souvenir store. You can see if I'm interested in getting getting something that I had, but I probably won't replace it or something. I did get like one DVD that, uh, that I had when I was living at home. I just get the I just gotta find the other ones for DVD. It's not gonna be that easy. They don't make them for a DVD that much. I had to try a couple places on Staten Island, which is gonna be tricky. Find Godzilla movies? Oh yeah. Man, my stomach is killing me. I gotta eat something. I don't even know who these people are. This is creepy. I mean, this ain't creepy. Creepy. So, you know, it looks like a bunch of guys, uh, it looks like a bunch of guys, like, staring at you while you're walking by. It's like, creepy. You know. But it's like, a, you know, it's probably a monument for, like, welding, company like welders that basically built, like, buildings here in Manhattan. But, you know, I'm basically walking through cars here. And so, it's like, you know, it's like a maze of cars like this. Look at that. That's like a ton of, you know, a ton of cars. 
And if any of you YouTube viewers uh, who have worked that are in those cars and are walking in the street, guess what? You're on my show now. Just kidding. But I can't pay you. Sorry. But, you know, I, yeah, I could cause some still walking. I'm going to be getting into a souvenir store to walk around for a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the, you know, like I'm going to turn the camera off when I get to the souvenir store. Because so i got to walk around, see you know, if I find anything interesting or not. Then I just uh, leave and make my way to a couple of other stores in Chinatown. As you can basically see behind me, there's a couple of signs that we're getting close to Chinatown. Like when you see the Chinese uh, symbols, you definitely know you're in Chinatown. Now, the one thing I definitely love about Chinatown in Manhattan is it's like very awesome. Like a lot of uh, great stores here in Chinatown. I'm gonna probably end this video. And until next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and YouTubers, you know, like uh, come into come into Manhattan. Try, you know, I like, can walk around. Just watch your, you know, like, watch where you go, and be careful. Until next time, YouTube viewers and. Yeah, I can. Till next time, everybody. Peace out.